why am I so passionate about this sacred space of sexuality? So I just told you a little bit about growing up in, in trauma and, and what it takes to survive that and to endure that, being mm -hmm. told that I'm strong and having to uphold that. Mm -hmm. uh, my entire life I've been looking for a place to be completely authentic, potentially ugly, potentially a mess, um, entirely genuine in my, in my being. And sex has been that for me. Mm. Sex has always been that. It's the one arena in life where I can have those honest meltdowns. I can contort in the ways that my natural self wants to. It's why I value sex so greatly. It's why I find it healing. It's why it is every bit necessary for me. It's also why I don't want to do porn completely. Hmm. Okay. Explain, explain that. Because I fear in all of my desire to, and my passion to present, and to be a professional, I fear that I may in some way threaten that experience of sex being the place where I can unleash and mm. I can be whatever it is. I don't want anything to tarnish that space for me. Mm. So My. it's like if you take that. So what I think you're saying is that sex is this very free place where you get to be expressive mm. about who you are and mm. it's very intimate for you. And if you turn that into a job, it changes everything about it for you. I mean, I'm, I'm a I'm a performer. Yeah, I'm a performer. And this only applies to me. I know how many amazing porn performers there are that bring their complete authenticity to it. Mm -hmm. And I fucking commend them wholeheartedly. It's amazing. Uh, not everyone does it. Some people really rely on that dialed in performance. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, too. Mm -hmm. You know, that's totally whatever gets the job done. Yeah. But for myself, I have not found an opportunity in life. Now, in my older years, I have through, you know, honest conversations. But, um, you know, in my late teens, early 20s, sex was the first place I was able to completely be myself and to be maybe not OK or to be a mess or to not be this composed, polished person mm -hmm. that I had to be my whole upbringing. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm like, if I got into porn performing I wonder if I would care too much about it being a good performance and losing that ability to really surrender to it. I think as a performer, yeah. I feel you know? like it's very likely. Yeah. And that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe I would share my authenticity and it would just be a whole fucking game changer. Yeah. And, you know, the rest is history. Who knows? But for me, that's a very sacred thing. You know, I also feel that sometimes it's unfair that we demand that people tell us why they would do porn mm. or why they wouldn't do porn. Mm. It's like, do you, does everybody really need to explain themselves? And right. it's funny because I have people on the show literally to explain themselves. Why are you in porn? <laughs> why are you not in porn? But, you know, sometimes I just see from the comments that people leave and, you know, uh, porn fans are like, why would you do this? You know, yeah. like why, you know, your parents must be so proud and why would you throw away yeah. an opportunity to go to college, to be a porn star, blah, 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 blah. You know, you see a lot of that judgment. Yeah. Um, and then you also see people like, I get this a lot, like, why won't you do porn? Mm. And I'm like, cause I don't want to. They're like, but why? Yeah. Like every, you work in porn, you work yeah. behind the camera, you like shoot all these women who do porn, like yeah. you, sh you should do it yeah. too. And I'm just like, Liter and I get to ask this question all the time, I'm especially sure. on my OnlyFans. And I'm just like, because I don't, like, yeah. you know, obviously, like, I'm not ashamed of it. Obviously, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just don't want to. I don't even like watching myself have sex in the mirror. Right. I definitely don't want to be on camera. <laughs> like, I, I just, I just don't want to. I, like, why I, do I have to explain why I don't listen, want to? I, I just make, don't want to. I make some ugly fucking sounds. <laughs> <laughs> on my way to climax, I make some weird faces. I make some weird decisions in those moments. And if I had a wonderful equipped crew that's looking out for the best shot or the mm -hmm. best moment, I just don't want that voice in my head that's yeah. saying, that's not sexy. Because you know what? To me, it is. Yeah. And uh, and so I, I need to defend that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to defend that <laughs> and say, you know what? 
I, I won't be doing full-fledged porn, everyone. I love finding ways to seduce you. I love finding ways to conjure arousal. I do a lot of it on my OnlyFans. I do a lot of it on my Tempted. But when it comes to actually sharing me fucking, no, I'm going to hold on to that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep that for me. It's not what you expect, everyone. But why? <laughs> but why? But why? We want that sound, that gorilla grunt that you make, Laura. We want that. You probably do. <laughs> think about it. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.